Pull aquatic, we reefing. reefing. Fish in my crib, I got fresh, I got salt water. Salt water. on the rocks, I got all colors. All colors. I made a orange way out of all rubbers. All rubbers. Protein skim will make all bubbles. Okay. Got fish for sale, I'm finna place the order. If it's rare enough, I'll cross the board. Awesome. Perimeter checks, there's levels to this. Levels. Macro lens, yeah. you see in the pattern. Snail shells, museum of the Vatican. I'm coaching this game, Gary Patterson. Going to Discord, verified, I let you in. I like my lives like ESPN. Yeah. Just lost some Bernese, call STNs. It's part yeah. of the game when you destined to win. You see me on live, I got questions. Check in. Yeah.
a word of mine. Sorry, for whatever reason, again, I can't. You say you what? I hear you. Yeah, Skipper and uh, New Local Austin, I was up here earlier. Yeah, I can't even hear you if you're talking. Your mic must be muted or something. There we go, I can hear now. <laughs> yeah, the mic was muted or Might something. be a little bit noisy yeah. in my back home from work. Oh, okay, okay. For sure. Let me turn. <laughs> Let's turn this music down. I'm ready to go home and reach a state of enlightenment. You said who? But I'm ready to go home and reach a state of enlightenment. Ah, uh, nah, for real though. Been a I'm in the bar. I could hear you. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. So we got. So we got the rest of the stuff today for the rainwater collection system. Total cost is about one thirty for the one ten gallons. All right, that ain't bad. That ain't bad. That's all, Jay. Huh? Your phone is kind of choppy. Yeah. <laughs> like we can only hear a few words you said but that de definitely man uh dang i heard in some states it's illegal to collect rainwater man wondering if it's because i have wi-fi it could also have to do with the fact that i'm outside next to a main road oh okay okay yeah the signal but it's perfect now though oh okay I turned Wi-Fi off. Ah, uh, yeah, that was wide and it was trying to <laughs> catch the wall. They say it was here until about eight years ago. Okay. Yeah, that's way better. Uh, it look, look different in Australia. Yeah, Craig Craig was just saying though um, he was hoping he can go on and get him a new spot, man. I told him to go on and uh, come to Texas. <laughs> you the Aussie. <laughs> Cheers, <real>. Craig. <laughs> Parts of every second word. Yeah, he talking about if, if he could switch his hospital job, he would. Oh yeah. I'll be gone. Pew. Cause that that's a whole another issue if you got the money to move, but then they don't have any places for you to move. Well, look, if I had about ten or fifteen grand up my sleeve. Yeah. I'd probably go. I know that with my work ethic, I could pick up any amount of work that I wanted. You would stay down there or you would leave? Oh, I'd, I'd go 
come to the States, man. Oh, yeah. That'd be clear. I'd be so much closer to all you guys. Yeah, yeah, for sure that. He say uh, they are water rights holders in the state. So if those right holders can prove that rainwater connection takes away from the historical water reservoir rainfall, they could take away rights to collect. Ah, oh, man, that's crazy. I mean, so you can't even bucket. If you set it in the reservoir, that would take away the whole, you know, the collection of rain, rainwater in that reservoir. If you got a bucket in your backyard, how does that take away from the reservoir? Man, they saying that shit taken away from the, the historical reservoir. But I'm pretty sure the little water that you collect in your backyard is not stopping the historical reservoir from filling up. Right. So they could go on with that. He said, what well, people don't know can't hurt. Yeah. yeah, I heard that they be like driving around looking. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. They, they be, yeah, they be looking to see if you collecting the rainwater or something. That's wicked. Like we were talking about this on Slack the night before. Like, yep, yep. Honestly, unless you are in an area of you know, extreme pollution, wherein it would not be safe for you to consume that water in any way, or, you know, have it in holding, holding containers. Yep, yep. You know, he if you want uh, to, to water your garden, I, I just understand why it rains, it's going to wet the ground anyway. Oh, uh, yeah, you, I think your Wi-Fi probably cut back on and my back chopping up. No, I turned it off. Oh, okay. Kind of choppy. So the fish prices is higher over there? Oh, yeah. About $15 for an auto sinkless. Damn. Over a hundred dollars yeah. for a pizza. Keeps the mud away. He said it'll save him about fifty dollars a summer. Oh, yeah. He said they want you to drink the poison here. Yeah. Yeah, they put like green and fluoride water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's crazy though, because we pay for we pay for Yeah, we pay for water, but then people be scared to drink the own water that they pay for. Yeah. It's wicked. So how big is your system, Craig? So they don't trip about collecting the rainwater down there? Yeah. I don't think it's as police here as it would be there. Um, I've never come into any issues trying to collect rainwater. Just 200 liters. Yeah, that's wicked. I can't imagine trying to collect some water and then they come they come around like, hey nah man, what you doing? That's illegal. That's crazy. Ah, four barrels. Yeah, he's got like forty four gallon drum type thing. Yeah, that shit. It can hold 800 plus liters. Dang. So, is it good to change your water with a uh, rainwater? Change your fish tanks? Thank you.
you know a lot of that. Colorado University says no, but there's people who do it. All right. I was going to buy a tank, single one, but like 20,000 liters now. But I have to move each time. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, it helps car. Okay. I think some fish should help with breeding. Put some rainwater in the tank, then it triggers them to breed. Yeah, you kind of dipped out though. <laughs> Sorry about that. J Rock said Colorado University says no, but there are people who, who do it. Fuck that. Hey, bro, it's heavy for me. <laughs> if I was going to use it for any kind of livestock. I'll uh, probably have some filtration. Yeah, yeah, true that. I know they be having the, those filters that you can put on your water hose, and it, it kind of filter out filter out some uh, bad minerals. I know that calcium, it be bad when you try to like wash your car. They leave all that, that white deposit stuff. But I know rainwater to get inside of uh, the pond when it rains and you, and you have a pond, the rainwater gets inside of there so can't be that bad for them. And filter like you would use for like a pool kind of thing. Oh, okay, okay, I got you. I got you. Like some you use like in the wild to filter out your water. <laughs> That's definitely the way to go though. Instead of having to keep buying water, buying water, like That ain't gonna cut it. That's why I want to get one of those uh, RO RODI systems. guess it'll make the water cleaner won't have to worry about um, a lot of algae growth so I gave a few betas away today oh shit Craig giving away fish man rain and urban and industrialized areas may contain various impurities absorbed from the atmosphere including arsenic mercury colorado okay i remain lost his job so i sent him home with some betas for him and his boys so you gave him some betas to feel better huh? 
That's a copy paste from a Colorado State University article. Okay. I feel it, but that could be the same. That could be the same anywhere, though. Especially with the stuff they be putting in the, in the air. So. It's this one water they be selling. It has uh, arsenic in it. I wonder is that a harmful to the fish? The arsenic. Oh, uh, yeah, you are. So the infrequency of rainfall results in accumulation of bird droppings, dust, and other impurities on rooftops between rain events. The presence of these impurities in collected rainwater is affected by roofing materials, pitch, and area, and may occur in high concentrations. Oh, when it does cool. run yeah so heavy metals such as cadmium cadmium, cadmium? copper lead zinc chromium have been detected in rainwater okay okay but those are like trace elements too though right so though if i'm not mistaken those could be found in your top water also I know copper, lead, and zinc for sure. Going through like a day of rain and then a day of scorching sun and a day of rain. But I'm pretty, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure though. Like, say if those impurities do get into your water and you let that water sit or add some type of, I don't know, the chlorinator to it, would that be, would that be right or no? Or you wouldn't want to add that to your rainwater. Probably just letting it sit for a while. Uh, let off all the, the bad stuff because that's what you do to your tap water you pre-make it and it it lets off the chloramines and um, chlorine that's what I found when I was looking for the quality studies from, for my state Okay. But it said it may occur in high concentration. So that's probably way more. The level is probably way higher than it is in, in the tap water. That'd be right, drag mud and a go to sleep. Which <laughs> y'all be dealing with like mud slides down there or something? Drink. So 
there's mud slides, it's like boozy chocolate milk. You have like six and the next minute you're like, I can feel this. <laughs> so y'all have mud slides and stuff down there? Um, we had mud slides and um, I've always So they marketed it as um cowboy without the popcorn. He Same said thing the bottle. He said the builders left the tap on and Phantom had a ball in it. Oh man, so he was all dirty. Oh, no. I bet he did. <laughs> he was all dirty. Popcorn for Phantom. So what I was trying to figure out is if the presence of the light affects the water in the rain barrel, barrel or if oh, the paint yeah. if you paint them black or cover them if the excess heat they produce is worse than the latter okay hmm. he said I had just washed them too damn he went through the mud yeah it's crazy that's what that, as soon as you give them a bath they go rolling something Trevor. <laughs> I would think though, bro, the light would affect the water. It'd probably make it grow some type of bacteria or algae or something. Not really for sure though. Could always look it up. Let's see. The person was like, it's water and rainbow. And it's left out of the mint. If the excessive heat. The... Well, I think in if that was the case, j Rock, if you covered them up or, you know, had them in a dark, warm place, any bacteria or, you know, organisms inside the water are still going to grow like. Heat makes things flourish. But is that less than the algae growing from excess heat across the paint lap? So it's saying. Um, From this website, they say light incident upon standing water in a rain barrel is a function of a rain barrel design. Rain barrels with open or screen tops that allow light to penetrate will provide more light inside the barrel. Therefore, opening in or light colored rain barrels would be more likely to contribute to algae growth. To prevent algae, choose a barrel made of dark, opaque material. Opaque meaning you can see, you can't see through it at all, which will make it harder for algae to get the sunlight it needs to grow, if at all possible. So it says set up a rain barrel in a shady place on the other side of the house that gets the least direct sunlight. So I'm guessing that algae can get in there if their water just stagnant and that light study hitting on it, then it'll definitely you know, grow some algae. Yeah, like Craig says drops of bleach keep stored water clean. But okay, you can also you, you, get like the tablets, like the purification uh -huh. tablets. I was just about to say that. The ones or, you um, get for you know, connect a um and you go a, camping. A, a water purifier onto it or something? Yeah, them tablets like for when you go camping. Hmm. From access heat. The main barrel is black. What you saying? Because it'll be heating the water up. If you was to paint it black, it'll, it'll be absorbing well, the heat. He's trying to say they both grow algae, but which one is worse, heat or light? They're white because their light gonna be able to come through more easily. Yeah. 
saying drop. We just keep, you know, he said that. That's why the main barrel is black. You know, he said that. They both garage go through shit like that. Like, like, yeah, yeah. All right. So that's definitely what it is, bro. You have to put it, you know, on the side of the house that, that has the uh, most shade or, like they say, dark color. Something that can't get through it. But I wonder, um, would that only happen if the water is like stagnant? Like, should you may need a bubbler in there or something to keep it keep it moving? Oh, that's yeah, or have like a, a drain or something. Probably ways you could do it. It say choose a location for your rain barrel. Ideally, beneath your gutters, downspouts, the closest to your garden or where you need the water. Make sure the rain barrel will be on a flat surface. You can support the weight of a full barrel, which could be 300 pounds. Yep, 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 yep. Ah, oh, so it's a white white light or transparent barrels will grow algae faster yeah then you could say hey (laughs) so check it you get a you get a blue barrel it excludes sunlight so they won't grow algae my barrel but not all day yeah you say they don't need to be painted but they certainly can be so a blue a blue barrel won't grow any algae from what they said because it, it it excludes the sunlight you could always cover it with like a blackout curtain too yeah they mother gonna get wet start growing mold or some shit mm. <laughs> it's not like a ton of sun on my barrel but not all day so what the what does the sun do for it? Oh, okay, because the sun purifies the water, in my opinion. So yeah, tarp. Yeah, tarp or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Craig said because the sun purifies the water, in my opinion. Craig, get the facts, man. <laughs> <laughs> he over there talking about in his opinion <laughs> what if cooking the water does some other to it man even an umbrella even an umbrella <laughs> or, <laughs> or just get a blue barrel bro <laughs> call it a day It definitely will be dope, man. You can get really small, like, um, rainwater tanks here. They come in all different colors now. Yeah, black ones, green ones, yellow ones. And, the, you know, this they're slimline enough that they can sit up against the side of your house. Yeah, they're not bad. Hey, Craig. They're about probably about the same size as like, um, or what are those? The food grade, um, call it. Worth getting, yeah. Barrels about $120 a piece new, so I got used yours instead of windshield washer fluid in them for $15 each these yeah windshield wiper fluid in them for 15 <laughs> yeah I did that uh I had got a tank like that it had some stuff in it not a tank but a a barrel 
I just wash that mug out real good. I use poly It's like po- poly almond paste. Oh, I'm in paste barrels. Let's see. See what Craig got us looking at, man. Oh, I'm in paste barrels. Where they at, Doc? Go see one of those. Where's the cat? Where's that cat? I would say I do like that. I'll be able to see how much water I have in them. With them, but man. White is clear. Yeah, white is clear. You can, man, but you're going to grow that algae, Doc. Or or is that like the translucent one? Like, what's the translucent ones? Um, I don't see any almond paste barrels. We must not have, we must not have that over here, bro. That's barrel almond paste. So, would you like to be able, uh, that I'll be able to see how much water I have in them? Oh, excuse me, being a whitish clear. Yeah, it just shows five gallon buckets. It don't show any barrels. We must ain't got to the oh, is this one? Put fifty five gallon bar after. <laughs> Something like that. I know people down here, they usually cut their mugs in half and set them flat and put water in them for their horses to drink out of. So, yes, I have them too. I wonder will steel drums uh, grow algae? That's a good question. I'm not sure. Okay, okay. Let's see. Uh, I don't want this to be dope. So mine are just like like the blue ones, but they are clear white. I wouldn't use steel, they rust. Okay. Okay, yeah. Good point. So what, y'all just have it hooked up to the drain and then the water just flows to the barrel? You can do, and you can, like, you can get, like, 
green mist to filter any debris out. You say you can do what? Hold up, man. I'm medicating. <laughs> so, yeah, they are plastic bags. I'm going to do a video when I'm done. Plus, the steel carries all patrol. All right. Y'all 3D printed a diverter for the Dow Sprout. Y'all had seen that. That was pretty cool, too. That type of stuff, mostly. Um, Craig, I think with the steel ones, it depends on what they're used for. If they're used for, used for food grade stuff, I think you're okay. Um, you just got to make sure that anything you get is food grade, not um, oil, petroleum. Yeah, like 600 bucks each. <laughs> so I guess it depends on how much you're willing to spend at the end of the day. You can get those IBC totes for kind of cheap. Yeah, and that's what I had. Make sure that they're food grade, that they're not um, uh, oil or whatever. Yeah, that's what I had used before. One of them IBC totes. Hey, y'all. Um... These stainless for food or plastic. The dude, uh, is it Dan Aquatic or Dan's Fish? Dan's fish. It's Dan's fish. Okay, I was looking at. <laughs> you know, so I was many. looking at Dan's aquatic earlier, and it, it had some, uh, okay. some shrimp and stuff. But it must be Dan's fish because I see aquarium co-op right here. Oh yeah. So it might be Dan's fish. Hobby is bread and rice. These, These have windshield wiper fluid in them. It's considered a disinfectant or cleaning fluid. Hmm. Yeah, that's it, Craig. A clown killer. I think they have to tell you because if it's not, if it's something that's not food grade, like it'll leach other shit into your your water. No, nah, definitely. Damn. Bro. On Dulo pen checks. What was that? I was reading the name of this. It's fish. Like Fundulo pen checks. Oh, the pen checks? Mm hmm. It was nice. I like the color. Yeah. Oh, they're killifish. <laughs> I knew I yeah. recognized it. Took me a second.
Oh, that's fair enough, Jay. In that case, I'd only really be worried if you're using it on, you know, growing your own fruit and vegetables. Even then. Zebra-laced angelfish. They look pretty cool. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. Hmm. That's a nice looking angel. I ain't never saw them before. How much are they worth? 20 bucks. Twenty bucks. But these red devils, seventy. What the? Hell? I wonder, do they get more red or something? Red devil angelfish. Hmm. Yeah, the more nice. I was trying to see, did he have this certain particular? Oh, yeah, Jay. No, you should be sweet then, mate. No worries. Half bandit pike. Bro, they still over there fighting. He after this other fish now. <laughs> Get out of here. Why they don't like them? What did you do? Did you put new fish in there or something? Or move something around? Or Nothing. They've been the same fish in there. Yeah. But they, they kind of like never really mess with them too. That's what's funny though. Like the two that they going out of, <laughs> they, they never really mess with them. <laughs> so they always been like the outcasts. Yeah, that makes sense, Jay. Hey, you can only try it. So now it's like they kicking them all the way out the pack. Like, bro, you got to get out of here. <laughs> Dang, that's funny. I probably got to move the mother two in together. Because uh, I went over there and they had eight eight new fins up. Like on both his side fins. It wasn't nothing, bro. And oh, it's like, I want one of those, the uh, Apistos. Yeah. They're so freaking pretty. It's a double red. Apistogramma cockatoides double reds, also out of Europe. Not the rarest fish in the world, but the Europeans do a great job. So I pay the price to bring them in because I always figure there's people out there that will, you know, want to... Yeah, no, them are nice. So. They got like a fire tail on them or something. Yeah. Oh, that's a cute little fish. Yeah, They really appreciate caves and would gladly make them territorial. Yeah, no, I don't want to better. Ah, oh, shit, look at that. It'd be funny how they be looking different sometimes. Uh, these are dwarf cichlids. Okay. They make sense why they're so aggressive. Yeah. Yeah, that, that makes sense.
It's really oh, funny. I expected my ram to use his little cave, and he doesn't. He's never gone anywhere near it. Okay, so he out to. So this this the cichlid right here that's bullying everybody. Try to get a good picture of. It's the male. See, the male is yellow and the female is blue. Oh, okay. So it's it's the male that's causing havoc. Getting cranky. Yeah, He's but see, throwing his weight around. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it is. But see, he used to look like something like this fish. Uh -huh. You know. But then, could they be um getting ready to breed or something? Well, if I had a female in there, I'm pretty sure he's ready to breed. When it was a female in there, he had bred. But I'm saying, like at first, he was looking like this, like he was finna be less dominant. And I had yeah. two males in there. Well, when I brought him home from my studio, he ended up killing the other male. So they had fought for like the hierarchy. Oh, okay. he, yeah, he won. So now he just he be bullying it. He used to get bullied. Now he bullying everybody. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy how they have If he keeps if he keeps acting up, maybe just pull him for a timeout. You know what? That's probably what I should have did, moved him instead of the one that they was beating up on. Well literally all you gotta do is pull him out, put him in a container for you know. 10 minutes and then put him back. That disruption mm, it depends okay. on the fish, but sometimes, you know, pulling them out, put them, in, put them in time out for five, 10 minutes and then put them back. Yeah, I'm about to do something. You're going to cut some lights off on them. Maybe that'll make them chill out. <laughs> I'll cut the lights off. Because they might go on the phone. Never ordered fish before. If I did, it would be from Dan's fish. And like he got some good fish, bro. Show you the fish he beating up on. Something like this. This the fish he up here beating up on. Ooh. The zebra blick. He done told dude fins up, man. Wow. That's a nice looking fish. Yeah, How big do they get? It's cool. Uh, see what they make. So it's about four inches. It can reach a total okay. of 11 centimeters. So 4.3 inches. So he full oh, grown. Oh, they're going awesome, Greg. Man, my angels are fat and happy. The ram's completely chilled out. He's happy. Maybe flower garden if I can get anything to grow for the grass. We spend a lot of cash. Water the line. That's what I'm trying to cut out. Yeah, bro. Nah, Dan look like he has some, some, some good fish. I've just got the one ram now, Craig. Pinky died, so now it's just brain. <laughs> but they're all doing good. It's just the three of them in the big tank now. I need to get something else to pop in there, I think. But 
I don't know. I don't know what to do. There's so much algae in the tank too. You got the shrimp. I be liking these, but crystal reds, red Rileys. Mm. Yeah, well, I think Brain was picking on Pinky. He was chasing him around a little bit, and he must have. He's either run into something, or you know, uh, Brain actually attacked him because he had a little. He had like a sore on his cheek. Like he was just fine, and then one morning I woke up and he had like, um, yeah, a spot on his cheek. I got a story night shrimp. <laughs> oh wow! Oh, they're kind of cool. A ninja shrimp. <laughs> this dude look creepy. Yeah, that's it. Hey, Craig. I need to improve on the slide big time. <laughs> For sure. Bro, he might look weird. See, I could go some for like the Gertrude. On, on the rainbow fish, but Here we go. Nice. But going for something like this, I can't go for that. When they get older, they look. There's money. Heck yeah. <laughs> when they look like this, it look, it look weird. <laughs> oh, that's awesome! Look at that color. <laughs> They just look, so, they're such an odd looking fish, too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Especially these. They look yeah. like they've been like f pancaked. Almost like a flounder. Yeah, kind of. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. So what am I already doing? I just can't get down with that though. Look at that motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Now, like I was talking about that mug early. I was talking about it and then Stephen P came in. He said I did have to come in on a body shaming. <laughs> Oh, see you later, J Rock. Sleep well. Finna roll, man. Right on for real, old Quadway. Good shit. Nah, for sure, man. Sure. I just had to double back one time. Sure, that was a good night, yo. Hashtag nah, late for, night crew. <laughs> nah, for real, though. Shit, we'll come. Yeah, I got to double back one time, man. Oh, that's a barb style. Oh, so Neo and Tetra and the Cardinal Tetra is different. I thought it was the same thing. Yeah, I think the Cardinals are slightly bigger. 
and the the with the colors, the colors a little different. Yeah, they got the the whole red stripe with the light blue. Yeah. And the, and the neon's got a little bit of red. The yeah, they don't really have a stripe. It's just like half and half. Okay. See, that's good to know. Oh, shit. What is that? Oh, that's a cool looking fish. I ain't never seen that before. If they don't look like that, though, when they come, I'm sending them back. <laughs> Chicken season. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. He do got some stuff though. He got some stuff. Damn, thirty dollars for a Molly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for a what? pair. Wow. Uh, about to say one bell, one female. So how much would some of these fish cost down there? Well, I mean, I got my angels. What were they like? Say two for twenty-five. Yeah. Um. I'm not really sure about the rest. Like mollies and stuff are pretty basic. Sword tails. It's the burner. What what what's he got those for? Fourteen ninety nine. So that'll be fifteen dollars. I don't know. That's pretty expensive here. Yeah, Obvious be... bread. Oh, they're European. That's why. Raised in Europe. Okay. <laughs> Is this like a freshwater goby? Rhino goby is what? Oh. Henchinesis. <laughs> what a cute little guy. <laughs> it must be some type of goby. That looks like it. Super blue. Oh, these must look cool. This is our group of steak endlers. A couple years ago now, I think, we, we bought a few from Alexander Englehart. We put them in a bear tank because we weren't planning on breeding them. Um, and we were gonna sell them, and when we were done selling them, we were gonna buy more from Alexander. However, even in that bear tank, they bred and they did not eat their babies. They just kept reproducing and kept reproducing. So to date, we have not had to reorder any from Alexander Englehart because the colony is so prolific. This is a rare endler. It's quite desirable. And the reason is, is it's a wild strain endler. Most endlers are no longer purebred. They've been hybridized with guppies. Um, uh, and no wonder why they resemble a guppy. He said a lot a lot of the inners. Yeah. 
Yo. Sorry, I did it again. All I did was move and I kicked myself out. He said, wait, no, this chick is it. Excuse Y'all was looking at these uh these steak endless. He said that these mugs are rare. But uh, he say a lot of them not print bread anymore because they've been mixed with guppies. And this mug do look like a guppy. They look like mm-hmm. one of those male, uh, I think like a designer guppy or something like that. It look like some uh, like a male guppy. Yeah. Show y'all what I'm talking about so y'all don't think I'm tripping. Like even right there, he kind of look like an endler. Oh yeah, the tails are just a little bu- more bushier. Yeah. So some of mine kind of, I don't know. They go. See, like, look at this mug. This look like an endler. I'd love some of those guys. To oh, show okay. You. It says Antler Guppy, Antler Live there, yeah. so they have they have been mixed, you know. They look like hybrids. Yeah, they're hybrids. So I guess to get a purebred uh, Antler, that's what makes it rare. Yeah. Okay. He said, you ain't on this chick in season, man. Yeah, I've been going for uh, almost another two hours. That'll be four. <laughs> You're doing well. <laughs> Dreaming heat lately. Ah, yeah. The um the analytics is showing my progress though. Oh yeah. So it's not like it's it's going unnoticed. Like it, it's, it's kind of funny. Up. Like I could stream and stream and stream and stream and have you know heaps of views and stuff, and it won't show up in the analytics like um in the the watch hours and stuff for like yeah. two months. Yeah, I think it said it take like up to a week or something. Yeah, oh, I, 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 I was like, watching mine every day for like two months and it didn't move. Yeah, nah, it looked like they just put like a uh, icon up there now because this wasn't up here because I you know, I stay checking it. But now it says, why could this take a week to update? It said we carefully validate each channel's engagement metrics before they are displayed here. The process may mm-hmm. take several days to complete it may vary from what you see elsewhere, such as YouTube analytics. So they don't yeah. update that mug like right away. Your, your watch hours and stuff, maybe your subs, because I kind of see like the subs go up instantly. Yeah. But the watch hours, it, it takes a while, I guess, to make sure that it's, it's legit engagement. Yeah. So. Oh, is that the the one that's in the middle of the screen there? Is that the one that's been bullying everyone else? Yeah, the yellow one. No, the oh, the one right no, in the middle. <laughs> no, nah, the one on the, in the left, on the left corner, below the stick. Oh, the yellow one. Yeah, it's him. Man. He's so pretty. Yeah, I'm pretty and sure I wonder, he's like huge compared to the others. <laughs> yeah. I think they're pretty much all full grown except one of those smaller blue ones. But they all been together for like a couple years, a few years. So. Oh, wow. I like the structures that you've got there, like um, that you've got the pots sitting on. 
Yeah, I had got them ones with another tank. They had just came with a tank. Oh, cool. Yeah. Matter of fact, they had came with a salt water tank I got. And I ended up putting a bit of fresh water. Oh, there you go. That's cool. Made some nice uh, pot holders. Yeah. But it's good, though, because the cichlids can't mess with the flower you know with the plant so they always eat the plants and stuff so but yeah man I, I'm, I'm, that's what I'm finna do just roll up off of here cut these lights off maybe they'll chill out but I don't know what they doing right now though <laughs> hopefully they haven't been to ki- kill each other by the, tomorrow But nah, no shit. I'm finna go on and roll up off here, man. It's been grand. Appreciate everybody for coming through. Oh no, thanks for having me out. Oh, for sure. As always, I'm glad you came up. You know, <laughs> late night curry. That's all it is. Ah, oh, yeah, man. Everyone else is flaked out. <laughs> it's the night owls. They can't hang, man. They yeah, better get some sleep for tomorrow, man. I'm gonna party. Okay, yeah. What time you gonna start? Uh, I think I think I set it for nine or ten a.m. my time. Oh, okay, so it's gonna be from then until the night time, or what? Whenever, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Okay. Okay. For sure. Then. That's a bet. Well, sure. Uh, I will be <laughs> tuning in. I will be tuning in. For real. But uh shoot, I'm gonna play my outro and I'm out. No worries. Thanks, Carl. Uh, See all right, ya. for sure. Alright, for sure. I'm good. Cool aquatic, we reefing. Reefing. Fish in my crib, I got fresh, I got salt water. Salt water. on the rocks, I got all colors. All colors. I made a watch way out of all rubbers. All rubbers. Protein skin will make all bubbles. Okay. Got fish for sale, I'm finna place the order. If it's rare enough, I'll cross the border. Cross the perimeter checks, it's levels to this. Levels. Macro lens, levels. you see in the pattern. Snail shells, museum of the Vatican. I'm coaching this game, Gary Patterson. Join the Discord, verified, I let you in. I like my lives like ESPN. Just lost some Bernese, call STN. It's part of the game when you destined to win. You see me online, I got questions. Check in.